Hello everyone, so today is 20th of uh, April 2024 and we are at the Jagdamni Rishi temple. This is right above the town of Kullu and uh, this video series is going to be six days of hiking, connecting the trail from Kullu, going all the way to Prasha Lake and then the Ott Tunnel which is on the Manali Chandigarh Highway. So if I quickly lay out the map, you will see that this community hike, we are trying to hike from the town of Kullu, go to Chambagad, also cross few multiple passes, hike through uh, multiple river valleys and uh, villages and finally reach the beautiful Prasha Lake further connect the trail to Ott Tunnel so this will be a very nice trail addition to the already mapped trail network that we have here in Himachal Pradesh we are a group of three individuals and uh, we have very light packs and uh, we are trying to go fast but without compromising on our safety and confidence in the in the outdoors this is a very beautiful place to start the hike you have a road head so you can come here all the way in a vehicle and start your hike and uh, we have been hiking since some four hours it has been seven kilometers but i think this is a much suitable place to say that this is where you start this long long traverse so may the mountain gods be with us and uh, hope to have a very nice beautiful experience across these six, six days each day will be one episode and i'll try to fit in more information so that you can do all these hikes all by yourself so so let's see how the day unfolds <laughs> Yeah, so starting a hike exactly at 2.10 p.m. Yeah, let's see, let's see how it goes. And uh, here you can also see Bijli Mahadev. We are right on the uh, adjacent ridge line. So this, this is Bijli Mahadev right here, the green patch. Yeah, let's keep walking. Yeah, so today is going to be all about Kais Dhar. Kais is the name of the forest and Dhar in the local language means ridge line. Hope to have a beautiful trail. Good start to the day. Oh. A quick little shower to clean yourself before you enter the trail. <laughs> now we are clean. Ish. <laughs> Big beautiful trail. It's a very well, very well maintained path. Kais Dhar. Beautiful. So we are experiencing some uh, afternoon showers but uh, we are uh, still safe and sound because we are in the thick canopy so nothing much to worry but this is like just a little bit more than a drizzle. <laughs> Just like hiking in England. <laughs> True. It's 
a nice downpour. The time is 4.10 pm, we've got a little little window, so let's let's get walking, let's start walking again. Steady. Don't hurt yourself. Ah, careful. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, eating grass. I should do a stunt you're going to pass. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the valley is still, still sort of covered with a lot of clouds, a slight drizzle. You can see the clouds moving. See? And. Uh, it's 4.46 p.m. We have done some 15 kilometers since since the Kullu bus stand. But then the starting point from that temple, we have done uh, close to 8 kilometers. Uh, you can see the clouds moving. Uh, those are the forest rest houses. We have a nice dhaba here with very, very good food. So we'll uh, just wait for this drizzle to stop and rather utilize this time to eat something super healthy. <laughs> Mm. So amazing food, 120 rupees full diet, and the the hot coffee was amazing. Yeah. Hot coffee with sugar. Mm. <laughs> Acha hai? I'm in heaven. Bahut swadesh hai. So we are camping at 2450 meters, and our camps are set. So. Uh, Pete and Nishant are in the two person MSR tent. I am in the Lanshan One Pro. This is a single person, single person tent. Nicely pitched up. And uh, we are still experiencing a slight, slight drizzle. You can also see the forest huts. That's where the huts are. Yeah, we'll have to call it a day. Because of the weather. But yeah, still, still a good, good good day but this was Kaya's Dhar so people usually come here come to the Dhaba eat some food and go back and the big beautiful trail is also pretty popular among the MTB riders from the valley it is still you're still experiencing quite a drizzle but yeah the weather sort of cleared up yeah towards the west and it looks very very beautiful What a day. The time is 9.11 p.m. Time to call it night. Yeah, I've kept uh, some of my stuff. The backpack is right there. Padded jacket, raincoat. Uh, you can hang your cap and specs in this loop right here. This is how big is the 
is the launch on one pro so my mat is in the center there's enough space on this side this is this is the door a tiny little ventilation uh, that's the area around below so these are these are some clothes that I've kept use them as a pillow I still have some peanuts and jaggery so you can just eat something before you go to go to sleep if required yeah yeah so whenever you're camping you can have a fresh pair of clothing you wear one particular pair of uh, t-shirt and lower while hiking and at night you can change into fresh clothes I usually keep my head torch lying around my neck so at the middle of the night if I have to head out I don't have to search where my where my head torch is so this was good day one tomorrow's plan is to wake up at 7 have some breakfast pack some lunch leave by 8 a.m. the weather says that it is going to be sunny partly cloudy let's see let's see how day two sort of, sort of unfold but this was all about this beautiful trail called Kaisthar uh, nice and pretty it was yeah good night <laughs> where are you coming from uh, England sir no today um, did you click pictures in Kaisar? <laughs> <laughs> Kais, Kais did you? 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 Did you?